In this video, I'm going to talk about how to use the print version of the Station Labs in your classroom. So to use the paper or the in-class version of the Station Lab, you're going to download and open the file that starts with to exploration and ends with print version and teacher directions. So this file comes in a PowerPoint or a PDF. And I'm just going to pretend I download it here, but I've actually got it open already. So I'm going to open it up and we're going to be looking at the PowerPoint version here. So you will need to print the stations that start uh, on slide six and we've got it noted over here. They start with the read it section and they go all the way through the end of the challenge it station. In this particular lab, it ends at 29. So you'll have to print all of those out. And then you have to choose the correct answer sheet that you want to provide your students. Some of your students may receive the dependent answer sheet here. The other ones may receive the modified version um, uh, after that, that's listed after that. The final slides are the answer keys and you may print those out if you wish to. Now these are just suggested answer keys uh, for the teacher to use uh, at their discretion. If the students are gonna be reusing materials by moving around the stations in the room, we recommend laminating the station instructions and the task cards before cutting them up. You should make multiple sets per station if your class is gonna have larger than one group per station. I'm gonna go back to slide 10 here. Uh, what you're gonna be doing is putting one set of task cards, which is right here, and one set of um, station directions at each station. Now, if you're doing multiple uh, multiple stations, like if you, for example, you wanted to set up three watch it stations, one suggestion I have is to, on the back of the directions and the task cards, write uh, a number one across all of them that are in group one, a number two for all group two, so that they don't get mixed up throughout the day because probably they're gonna be in the same area and what tends to happen in a middle school classroom is cards get switched and put in the wrong bag and so forth. It'll just make it easy for you to um, find out what needs to go back where when the day is done or the period is done. Looking back on the teacher directions, which is on slide one, you'll wanna place um, on the desk or in the area for extra materials needed for each station. A basket works very well for this. You're gonna decide if the students are gonna bring their own materials to the illustrated station or they're gonna use the materials you provide. If there are any additional materials you'll need, we will list that here in the different stations. For example, typically the Explore it has a couple of additional um, uh, things that might be needed or materials that might be needed and we will list that here for you so that you can um, get your station set up ahead of time. At least two of the stations, the Watch It station and the Research station, will need a device that has an internet connection. And the links to the sites are actually on the task cards that are the, the students will see at their desk, but they're also here in the teacher directions. And because sites and school filters are constantly changing, we recommend checking you know, to make sure you have access to these sites from your school computer and your school network at least a week before the station lab. And then again, possibly a day before the station lab just to ensure that the um, site is still up and running. You can often request a site to be whitelisted by your IT department if you find you know, that a particular site is blocked for some reason. If you do find a site that is no longer functional, which occasionally does happen, please email us at uh, chris at kesslerscience.com so we can try to find another site as soon as possible. On the day of the station lab, give students the printed answer sheet and explain where each student's answers are going to go. We recommend that you do at least two of the input stations before trying the output stations. The input stations are gonna be on the front of the answer document and the output stations are going to be on the back. Allow them to work through the stations at their own pace, meaning there isn't any kind of like signal where they all move to the next station at the same time. However, you'll wanna monitor that students are making the best use of their time at each of the different stations. If I wasn't walking around the room, I tended to stand near the Explore It or the Organize It station for spot checks and additional help. Now going back up to the teacher directions here, 
If your students aren't allowed to move around the room or share materials, you might consider doing several of the stations together as a class, especially the Watch It and the Research It station. Then you could print out copies of the remaining materials for each student. Now, some classes may need two days to complete the stations, especially the first few times you run them. When they're done, collect their answer sheets and you can choose to check whatever you want. I personally check the assess it station as a comprehension check and then maybe a couple of the other stations um, just as a completion grade. Now, if you have to give grades on this, uh, just remember that this is the beginning of the learning process and what a lot of teachers do is they choose a different portion of the station lab to complete to grade each time. That way you're not grading eight different stations for every single student. That could get um, tedious very quickly. Now if you need to edit any of the slides for any reason, you can, you can do that um, from within the text boxes here. However, if you need to edit some of the labels which are, are not movable, you are going to have to, let me slide this down, you are going to have to go up to View and then Slide Master and we've created those labels here. So you can come down to, um, like if you wanted to change some of these different labels, you could do that here. And the one key thing on this to remember is that if you go ahead and save the document right here in this slide master, the, when the students open it, they're going to see this view. You don't want them seeing this. So you're going to have to click on close master and then save it from this view, from the normal view instead. Now this is my preferred method for doing the station labs if you're on campus and you're able to move in groups. Good luck to you.